Hi everybody, I'm Brendan from Time Ghost. We're all really excited to announce our brand new check-in, check-out feature, which is going to help you track your working times rather than your project times. Let me show you how. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn the feature on, how to set it up for your company or individual employees, and how to make different types of time entries, both manually and from a template that I'll show you how to set up. First thing we're going to do is go over to settings here on the left. I'll go to check in, check out feature and click yes. When I scroll down, I can also set up the working hours for my company by clicking the pen. By turning on the individual days that my company plans to work, I set up my entire work schedule. I can also edit the times within the schedule, however I please. Let's say on Mondays, I start a little bit later. When I'm all ready, I save changes. Now this is for the whole company, okay? Next, I'll show you how to set up schedules for individual members on your team by going over to team here. I can set up a schedule for myself or anybody else that I've already included on my team by going here on the three dots in settings and clicking on working hours. By clicking on the edit button, I already have the setup schedule that I created for the entire team, but now I can personalize it for myself. And whatever changes I make to an individual schedule will override anything that I've created for the entire company. See, I changed it from eight o'clock to nine o'clock. I can change that again to my personal schedule and I can do it on any day of the week that I want. And when I'm ready, once again, I save changes. Be careful, it says applies from February 13th. This is when I've created this video, so this is when my schedule will start to apply. If you want to apply these schedules to times in the past, you'll have to go back and do it manually without the template. From here, I'm ready to go to my timer and start making some time entries. Now it says here I haven't created any project time entries yet, but let's go to working hours here. Here you can see I already have a time entry from yesterday including when I started, a break, and when I continued after my break. When I'm ready to start my day, I can go to check in, and it automatically starts recording my time. Whenever I'm ready to take a break, I just press pause. Now a break has automatically been added into my time entry. While I'm on my break, why don't I show you how to make a manual time entry? We go up here to the plus, and I can choose the type of entry. So I could say break, working hours, or absence. So let's say I wanna take vacation for Valentine's Day. And I'll say 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So now I can see my vacation entry right here. I can edit it or delete it as I please. Now let me show you how to make a manual time entry based on the templates that we've already created for ourselves. We'll go back up to the plus. Let's say that I already know I'm in a conference all day on Thursday, so I can use my template that I've already created. I choose Thursday, I choose paste working hours, and now I already have the beginning of my day, a built-in break, and the rest of my day. When I'm ready, create working hours entry. So now I have my conference time entry, I have my vacation entry, and I guess my workday is done, so let me check out. Now that I've shown you how to make some time entries for yourself, let me show you how to make time entries for your team as well. We go back to the plus, and we just change the user. Now I know Sven has vacation on Friday. So I click on Friday, absence and set it up for the whole day and here we go so now that I've shown you how to turn the feature on and how to make various types of time entries for yourself and for your team let me show you the dashboard so we can see an overview of all the information we've compiled first we'll go to dashboard on the left and I've clicked on working hours here at the top I've simply filtered for all of the users in my team so you can get a team overview 
but you can filter for individual users if you please. You can also filter for groups. When I look below at the graph, I see the current number of working hours compared to what the schedule says my planned working hours are. I can see whether I'm over or under that amount, and I can see what hasn't been worked yet in pending. Each color of my graph can also be turned on or off as I please. When I've configured my dashboard just the way I want it, I can export all of this data by going to the top right corner. Under export, I can choose from two different files, grouped in user tabs, which I really like, or a simple list. Let me show you grouped in user tabs. So now that I've opened my Excel export, I can see all of my diagram information in graph form. Plus, I can click between each user's information in the tabs below. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like a live demo, you can book one with us today.